Take care of mine. Have a nice flight. Thanks a lot. I want to thank you for everything. But we couldn't host you properly. No, that's not true. What more could you have done? Everything was just perfect. I apologize one more time about last night. You can't imagine how upset I am about it. Don't worry about it. So, we'll see you soon in Ankara. I'll call you when I come. Will Salim be picking you up, Melton? I told him not to. We'll meet tonight. So, my dear child, have a good flight. Thank you, sir. Uh, did you get my green bag? We'll see you. Well, goodbye. At least wait until they go inside. I don't think I can even stand up right now. Thank you. At home, he said he didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I saw the regret in his eyes. And that's when it all hit me. Oh, oh how could all this be? That boy that I raised, how could he turn into this? How could he become violent like this? I just can't understand it. And my heart will never accept all of this. Oh, God. Karim wouldn't do it. But he didn't say anything at all in front of the Yasserans. I shouted, I yelled, I asked him if it was true. He stood there. He just accepted it in silence. What will happen now? What'll happen? They'll lynch him if they can get their hands on him right now. And the girl's fiance will beat the life out of her. He's crazy and tell me who'll try to stop him. He'll kill Corinne the moment he hears about it. He won't let him live. I wish that I could go right now and tell the police. But it was just so crowded and I was so afraid. I wish they had arrested him. At least then he would be safe. Well, you know, he looks quite safe to me. And the Yasseran family took him under their wing. Whatever happened to him, it was all that Yasseran family's fault. I told him many times not to go along with all those little spoiled jerks. They made him drink so much that he didn't know what happened. And now they're his friends acting like his saviors. And he just walks around like a zombie. Yes, and who knows exactly what they may have told him. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not Karim's doing. And I am saying the same thing. But Karim is not saying anything. And do you think if their sons were not involved that they would help him? Do you think that they would ever pay attention to someone like him? I know that they would never lift a finger. Who on earth are they fooling? One way or the other. They will all fool everyone in the end. They'll blame Karim so that their own children can get away. Didn't you see that slime in here? He was leading them all along. Mm. He will do anything that is in his power to burn Karim. Who will stand up to the Yasseran family now, huh? And who is strong enough? Is it you? Huh? Is it me? They always try to smash anyone who might stand in their way, whether it has to do with money or with fear. And I don't know how they managed to persuade my poor Karim. Oh, poor idiot. Does he know his life is over? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. You told me that the girl didn't say anything. That poor girl must have been so heartsick. She wasn't even able to say anything at all. She'll talk at some point, and she knows the truth behind this. That's true. She's the only one who can clear things up. I only hope that she can pull herself together before it's too late. <laughs> Um, hello, darling. Are you back now? We just arrived at the airport. Where are you? I'm at the firm. Both your parents saw us off. Well, of course they would. And your mother cried all night. She was wearing her sunglasses today, and she didn't look so good. Why's that? Salam, I don't know. Whatever it was that you guys did must have been really big. Come on, give me a break, Meltem. I'm at the firm right now. I'm working on things, and I'm surviving. Are you okay? Of course. I'll call you tonight. Will you be able to sort it out by tonight? I'm coming to pick you up. You know that I love you, honey. Say hi to your parents as well. Okay. Have a good flight. Okay, big kisses. Okay, then.
You go ahead and do that. Big kisses to you. I'll call when we land. I really miss you, you know. Goodbye. Why didn't my uncle call? He was going to meet with her family. I think he couldn't make it. Oh, shut up, you're stressing me out. But Salim, do you believe that your uncle can sort this out? Do you, Ortegon? I don't feel comfortable about any of this. <sighs> come on, uncle, come on, will you call? Where are you going? Back home, I need some sleep. I'm leaving too. We haven't slept at all and my brain is hurting. If you hear anything, call me. Enough, Parahan. I can't control it. I'll never forgive Salim. Never. That guy, Erdogan, has seduced all of them. Animal. He shouldn't have gone with them. He should have stopped them. Is it masculinity? Is it human what he's done? Rafat trusted his son a lot. He thought highly of him. Now see how he ended up? As if screwing himself wasn't enough, he dragged our son into this as well. He shouldn't have done it anyway. He should have stopped it. How can he even look into my eyes ever again? And how can I ever look at him again? Okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> What's up? The same. Is he upstairs now? Karim is gone. He's gone? What do you mean he's gone? Where did he go then? You let him? Don't worry, one of our men is tracking him. And I am watching him as well. And he went to visit his mother's grave. The guy watching him just called me. 